This video is about calculating the current ratio and using it to analyze a real company's liquidity. First, I'll explain what the current ratio is and how to calculate it. Then we'll calculate it for Target in February 2009. Lastly, we'll evaluate the trend in Target's current ratio over the last four quarters and talk about what's driving that trend. The current ratio is the ratio of current assets to current liabilities. It compares resources the company has available to payments the company has to make over the next 12 months. A value greater than 1 indicates the company can meet its current obligations as they come due. Here's the formula for the current ratio. The current ratio equals total current assets divided by total current liabilities. Current assets includes every current asset account, even cash, Current liabilities means all the current liability accounts, including debt. Let's calculate the current ratio for Target for the quarter ending in February 2009. Start with total current assets of $17,488,000,000. Divide that by total current liabilities of $10,517,000,000 to get the current ratio of 1.66 times. Now let's take a look at the trend in Target's current ratio for the last four quarters. As you can see, the current ratio increases from the first quarter to the second quarter, falls in the third quarter, and then rises again in the fourth. A look at the drivers explains the trend. From the first quarter to the second quarter, accounts receivable and inventories increase more than accounts payable, driving the ratio up. In the third quarter, Target builds inventory in advance of the fourth quarter selling season, but uses more accounts payable and short-term debt as financing, pushing the ratio down. Receivables and inventories fall on the strength of the year-end surge in sales in the fourth quarter. Payables fall and short-term debt is completely repaid, bringing the current ratio to its annual peak.